Hey guys, we're currently at 6k subs on YouTube. If we can get to 10k before December, I plan to do a 24 hour charity stream. So please, if you like the content, help me get to 10k. Enjoy the video. In this series, I'll help you build the best team comp surrounding your favorite character with just the units you own. That's right, I'll be going through every character in the game. So regardless if you want to build around powerhouse damage dealers like Diluc and Kaching, or if you want to build around less popular DPS units, this is the series for you. After each video, you'll be able to immediately build the team comp that will allow your favorite character to shine, and understand more in depth in the logic and reasoning behind how teams are built. With that said, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on so that you can follow along. You can also support the series by liking the video and commenting on what character you want to see next. Let's get started. Today we'll be focusing on my favorite character, Fischl. If you haven't seen my best build for Fischl, make sure you watch that for an in-depth breakdown that will maximize your damage potential. The first thing we want to note is Fischl's abilities and elements. Fischl is an electro type and her kit is centered around putting up Oz who on summon deals AoE electro damage. It's also important to note that Lightning Smite, Fischl's passive talent, allows Oz to deal bonus electro damage if you trigger an electro related reaction. We have to take both her element and her kit into heavy consideration when we build a cop around her. Because if she's our main character, we want a team that will set her up for success and amplify her damage as much as possible. So before we even begin picking certain characters to fill into our composition, we need to look at what elemental reactions we want to consistently trigger. I've put up a graphic which shows every elemental reaction in the game, and you should spend some time to figure out what each elemental reaction does. With Electro, we have the potential to pair it with Cryo to trigger Superconduct, pair it with Pyro to trigger Overload, or pair it with Hydro to trigger Electro Charge. Electro Charge helps to deal massive AoE damage, which is something that is lacking in Fischl's damage profile. Overload helps to do a bit of AoE damage while also dealing a lot to the initial enemy. Superconduct reduces enemies' physical resistance, which pairs well with the white damage centric profile that Fischl tends to play. All three are decent depending on what you're trying to do. This is another reason I really like Fischl. You can build her a multitude of ways based on your playstyle and your enemies. Swirl can also help you out and do some AoE damage against mobs. I don't really like Geo even with Zhongli at the horizon because it's better for a close range playstyle and excels with elemental damage DPS units. For me personally, if we're looking at elemental reactions in a vacuum, the priority is Pyro, then Cryo, then Animo, then Hydro. The reason why I favor Overload over Hydro is because I believe Pyro has access to better units overall compared to Hydro. And while it does less in terms of AoE, you can mitigate that by slotting in an Animo. All these elements are pretty close however and are better than each other in certain situations. In addition to elemental reactions, we need to take a quick look at elemental resonance, that is having redundant elements in a single party. For Fischl main, Fervent Flames is the best because it gives you a 25% attack increase. I actually wouldn't run Electro Resonance with Fischl DPS because there aren't any great Electro units that would support Fischl well. The increased energy regen would only affect your burst, which can lead to higher Oz uptime, but I don't think is enough to justify running it over another unit. Let's look at the best builds for Fischl DPS. I've gone ahead and labeled comps Abyss ready if I think that comp is something you can plug and play in Abyss. Again, because there are different enemies and buffs for each floor, I cannot advise you that these comps will work for all 12 floors. That's why I also have listed an Abyss core for each comp that you can build your team around based on the circumstances. Comp 1 features Fischl, Mona, Diona, and Venti. This comp is abyss ready. This is my best in slot. I really like this comp because it's so versatile. Usually I hate putting a hydro unit and a cryo unit on the same team because I think freeze is one of the worst reactions in the game, but because Fischl can trigger elemental reactions so easily with Oz, I love the potential to proc both electro charge for mobs and superconduct for single target bosses. 
Mona combined with Venti helps with the general hardship for a bow user to clear waves of enemies, and Diona helps to proc superconduct easily while also provide healing. You have the potential for an AoE freeze with Diona and Mona, which most of the time you would never need, but it could be very great in very niche situations. Venti is the best animal character for this comp since all the characters here do not lack the necessary reach to hit enemies in the vortex. If you're official DPS main with all these characters accessible, I heavily recommend you try this comp out. The combo sequence for mobs is Venti Q into Fischl Q, Mona Q, Fischl Auto Attack, Venti E, Mona E, and Fischl E. The combo for single target is Diona E, Fischl E, Fischl Auto Attack for about 8 to 9 seconds, Diona Q, Fischl Q, and then Fischl Auto Attack for about 8 to 9 seconds. The abyss core for this comp is Fischl, Mona, Flex, or Animone, and Healer. Comp 2 features Fischl, Shang Ling, Diona or Chung Young, and Venti. This comp is abyss ready. This is a budget version of comp 1. Again, this comp focuses on versatility with the potential to proc overload while also pivoting into superconduct depending on what the situation calls for. Shang Ling is no doubt the best pyro support in the game, and playing around Gooba and Oz will allow you to consistently proc elemental reactions with minimal setup. Diona is here again to provide superconduct if needed and healing. I actually like Chung Young as a cryo user in official comps over someone like Kaya because he does have some range of his ult, whereas Kaya requires you to dip in and out of battle frequently. The combo sequence for mobs is Shang Ling Q into Venti Q into Fischl Q and then Fischl Auto Attack, Venti E, Shang Ling E, Fischl Auto Attack, and then Fischl E. The combo for single target is Diona E into Fischl E into Fischl Auto Attack for 8 to 9 seconds, into Diona Q, Fischl Q, and finishing up with Fischl basic attack sequence. The Abyss Core for this comp is Fischl, Shang Ling, Flex for an Animo, and a Healer. Comp 3 features Fischl, Shang Ling, Bennett, and Venti. This comp is Abyss ready. You're picking up Pyro Resonance here, which is especially good if you're heavily invested in Compound Bow. Bennett provides you with a huge steroid, and Shang Ling allows you to trigger Overload very frequently. Abuse both Bennett and Shang Ling's short cooldowns to pick up buffs and continuously proc reactions. But the downside to this comp is its lack of versatility in terms of reactions. You may run into trouble when you face element specific bosses. However, Electro and Pyro usually create great reactions. So while you may be disadvantaged against say Pyro mages without Hydro, Overload can still do enough to break down the shield. This comp is still good against mobs and single target enemies, but the lack of superconduct means you clear single target enemies slower on average. There's no combo sequence here, just weave in Shang Ling and Bennett skills and burst when you can. Abyss core for this comp is Fischl, Bennett, Flex for an Animo, and then Flex. Comp 4 features Fischl, Shang Ling, Venti or Sucrose, and Jean. This comp is Abyss ready. I think I've been underrating Animo Resonance quite a lot in the past, but I think it could be really good in a very mobile and kiting dependent DPS like Fischl. Stamina is probably one of the most important resources in the fight because it enables you to take less damage and be less vulnerable to interruption, especially with Fischl where you're constantly keeping your range and weaving your basic attacks in as you animation cancel and dodge around, you run out of stamina really quickly. The skill cooldown decrease is relevant with characters that can spam their E like Shang Ling and enables you a lot more uptime for Gooba and Oz. No real combo sequence here, take advantage of Oz's interaction with Swirl and maximize your turret damage by kiting around Gooba. Pick up Peppers on the cooldown and pretty much gain a permanent attack increase throughout a fight. The Abyss core for this comp is Fischl, Venti, Jean, and then you flex that last spot. Comp 5 is my free to play and features Fischl, Shang Ling, Amber, and Barbara with Thrilling Tales ranked for 5 and 5. This comp is Abyss ready. This is the best free to play comp 
Amber gives you pyro resonance and her abilities are decent to help Fischl create space and deal some AoE damage. Shangling of course is great with Fischl's kit and gives you a great buff at Ascension rank 4. Barbara gives you sustain while also allowing you to abuse Thrilling Tail's buff on Fischl. You should be able to do really well in the abyss with this comp, it's all about figuring out the play pattern. No real combo sequence here, Goopa and Oz synergy is great when up, Amber for stall or added overload, and Barbara swap when Thrilling Tails is off cooldown. I've listed all the characters I didn't mention with their reasoning. If you want to find out why I didn't include a certain character in the comp, make sure to pause the video and give it a read. Thank you for checking out episode 5 of my team build series. I'd really like to hear from you guys as to what my, your favorite team is so far. Comment down below with your current party setup. I'd love to check all of them out. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. Your support goes a long way in helping me put out quality Genshin Impact content every week. Also, check out some of my other Genshin Impact content if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Till next time.